huge. Jeff, I just want to follow up with you because I, I just spoke with three members of the Clinton camp, oh, including Jennifer you. Palmieri. That was Jennifer. Weird. She's good. She was actually just hovering over your shoulder. Where is yes, she? Uh, she's <laughs> there getting a. Uh, oh, she's getting a VR on TV. Um, uh, all three of them suggested, and, and, and in fact, uh, Jennifer stated uh, directly, they believe they've run a more uh, positive, issues-focused campaign than the Sanders campaign has. Well, Do you believe that's true? Look, I, I mean, I think it's empirically not true. I mean, I think if you look at uh, the campaign that was waged in the hand in the last couple of weeks, where it was one attack after another from, you know, surrogates, uh, whether it was their super PAC surrogates, whether it was a former president of Bill Clinton attacking uh, Senator Sanders, uh, whether it was the secretary herself or other surrogates, uh, you know, I mean, they, they clearly took on a more negative tone as they viewed the, the race sort of changing structurally in terms of, you know, where people were relative to one another in the polls. So, uh, and, you know, they sort of continued it tonight with this uh, sort of out from nowhere attack that they launched at the end, which, you know, really seemed out of out of place in the debate that was taking place on that stage. So, so their counter would be that you, uh, which is the, the argument that Secretary Clinton made during the last debate, which is this sort of artful smear campaign, um, John Podesta just referred to it as sort of innuendo. They, they feel like Sanders is sort of saying something without really saying something. Well, I think what he's saying is we have a corrupt system of campaign finance. He chooses not to participate in it. Other people do participate in it. That's what he's saying. Okay. Okay. Right? Period. Okay. Right? I don't think there's any no, innuendo there. I think mean, I think he says it quite clearly, right? We have a we have a rigged economy held up by a corrupt system of campaign finance. He's chosen not to participate in it. He's rejected having a super PAC. He's relying on small donations on the internet. That's the point. And he'll let the voters decide who he might be talking about. Well look, I mean everybody claims to be for, for campaign finance reform, for getting rid of big money in politics. He's doing it. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, you know, if voters want somebody who's actually doing what they say they want to see done, then that's, that's, that's the point he's making. Okay, thanks, Jeff. Yeah, you got Appreciate it. Yep. Secretary hey. Clinton regularly says that she doesn't want to lead the country to a contentious debate on health care. Again, isn't any attempt to improve Obamacare going to get a contentious debate from the Republicans? Well, look, every major advance in this country has been a contentious debate. You think we didn't have a contentious debate when we passed the Civil Rights Act? Right? I mean, by definition, if you're going to do something momentous, it is going to be contentious because the power that be are going to push back. So, uh, FDR, when he was trying to create Social Security, you don't think that was a contentious debate? It absolutely was a contentious debate. So, you know, if, if the point is not to ruffle the Republicans' feathers, people should not vote for Senator Sanders because he will ruffle the congressional Republicans' feathers. And on the, the way the superdelegates are reported, it just lumped right in with the with the confirmed with, delegates. With the pledge delegates. The yeah. pledge delegates. Yeah, so you know I really think it's it's um, you know it's fine. Look we're working on, on getting as many pledge delegates as we can from the rank and file Democrats who are voting in the primaries and caucuses. That's what we're focused on. You know super delegates they're not pledged to anybody. Um, you know they can change any time and you know as the race goes along I suspect many of them will change. But it's having a negative effect on the supporters. They think Bernie wins big but she has more delegates. It does it doesn't yeah yeah well you know the super the super delegates you know as I said you know they can change whenever they want so uh, we'll worry about the super delegates later down the process but shouldn't the media report it separately uh, I think they should because there's a big difference in the kind of delegates that they are and and the fact that some are pledged and some are not okay thank you thanks